All right. What we're gonna do today is I picked up some plants from the nursery, and what we're gonna do is remove the plants one at a time. All right. Squeeze the bottom a little just to help get them out. Pull them out like that and take a hose lightly and work off as much soil as possible. Okay? Now, once you do that, you'll end up with something like this. Okay? Now, what we'll do with that is we'll put that in a 3 inch net pot, put it towards the bottom, make it easier for the roots to get started. And I use pea gravel, okay? okay? Now, from there, this is what will go into our hydroponic system, okay? Now, these are Brussels sprouts. I've got broccoli. i got some cauliflower growing in the house, but it's not ready yet. I've also got some spinach and some romaine lettuce. Now I removed six of my tomato plants out of the center for the Brussels sprouts. I'm going to divide the center up. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these and get them ready for inside. And I'll show you when I get to that point. Okay. Alright, we've done some updates since the last time. We've planted uh, some nursery plants in here for the winter. I did take out half of the tomato plants in the middle because I wanted to plant some broccoli in there too. But let's go in and give you a better update. All right. All right, over here on the right, we got broccoli growing. Just planted these. So they're trying to root in right now. Most of these plants in here are trying to root in right now. But these are the broccoli spear type plants. I particularly like these because I just chop off little bits at a time. Keep them going. Right here we got some romaine lettuce started. Now I have more inside, it's not ready to come out yet, and I also have some deer tongue lettuce. Now these back here are aeroponic. And all I did for that was I took some of these nozzles, like this. A little blurry there, but sorry. And I'm using those underneath. I did drill them out a little to get more flow. But I plan on adding to these the nozzles in this area coming up. Okay. As you see, they spray quite well. <laughs> now on the left over here, we are growing some cabbage. It's some Bonnie 45-day cabbage. As you can see, some of them are a little wilted down. This is the end of the day, it's hot. They're not rooted in good yet, but they're surviving and they will root in. And this side over here is the Dutch bucket with the fog ponics going to it. Now back here, we have some spinach starting out. As you can see, yes, we just put it in. All this stuff needs to root in good. But it's surviving, so it will root in. <laughs> this is aeroponic, just like the other side. Use the nozzles. You can see the nozzles right there. Now here in the center, I put some Brussels sprouts in. And just like the other, this is a fog ponics with the Dutch bucket down below. Now I did leave some of my tomatoes 
and as we can see let's see if I can focus in there there are flowers starting so it's ready to fruit again let's see if we can get it over here yep see there flowers starting so I will definitely keep you updated on this but now I did put a fan in up top here and it's thermostat controlled if I want it to be right now I just have it totally on and it made a world of difference in here so when it's real hot definitely need the fan I thought with sides open it would be okay but no it's still got too much heat put a new top on and we are ready to go I'm ready for the winter I just gotta put a door on now and that should be on by the next next month's update alright well thank you very much if you have any questions please feel free to ask I enjoy helping <laughs>